legendary actors, but the place he calls home is right here in New Orleans. Yeah, right now John is starring in The Connors, and he's got a new season of The Righteous Gemstones, and we are so thrilled that he could stop by Jackson Square to hang out with us. John, Morning, John. It's so, it's so good to see it. You know, there are celebrities who come to New Orleans and declare it their home. People who've moved here, who've bought property. What made you decide to say this is the place where I want to lay down roots? Well, the first, first time I ever came here was with 50 fraternity guys from Springfield, Missouri. <laughs> and I laid down roots right over there for about three hours until a cop woke me up. From what time? Yeah, what time was that? In the middle of the night? No, no, no. It was, I was taking my morning nap. Oh, your morning nap. Yeah. What is it about yeah, this city you to you? I don't know. It's, it, it felt like... I used to come down here every time I get a couple of dimes to rub together, and it just felt like I was missing something until I, unless I was here. Oh. And what's the difference between coming to visit, which a lot of people do for jazz fest and things, and actually waking up each morning knowing, wow, this is home? You get to complain about the potholes, but uh, <laughs> outside of that, I, I consider myself very lucky to be here. Well, your wife is from Louisiana. Louisiana. Yeah. Louisiana. And Louisiana. And how, how has that impacted you, having her? Well, it's... I learned to eat a whole new culture, yeah, an yes. entire culture, and uh, I figured when I was going to be on the road and she had baby, we uh, lived down here so she could be close to her folks. Yeah, yeah. close to her. And so we, we decided to move here. Um, one of the things about New Orleans, of course, is that it is famously haunted. Yeah. We heard you've had some... some some uh, run-ins with a friendly ghost. A friendly castle. Friendly. I don't know how friendly it was. Tell us about this. Uh, well, here's a, a quick story. My, my daughter used to play uh, what they call bells in a band at Newman. And uh, she practiced on these little things like a xylophone. And one day, my mother-in-law and her husband were, were at the house, and they, they heard the bells. And they thought Molly was downstairs. And oh, no. She was nowhere around. Yeah. Oh. But he used to get bumps on the wall that shoot you straight up in bed at night. So what would you do uh, about that? She had beads. <laughs> Uh, over her doorway, and they would sway for no reason. Did uh, you talk to the ghost, or you just no? Let it I, 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 I'm, I'm want to leave me alone. <laughs> <laughs> they were bad guys. They were bad ghosts. Um, we have to talk about the Connors. Oh yes, we this, do. I mean, the fact that this is a character, Dan Connor, that people have yes. loved. There are generations of people that have loved him. Families, mm -hmm. the kids, the parents, the yeah. grandparents. He's what 35 is it? years old now. <laughs> no. Yeah, he's had great work. What is it about him? Uh, I, I don't know, Matt, an every man type of guy yeah. who's, who's getting older rapidly. <laughs> but it's fun to be still part of that institution. It's fun to be part of the family, and that's what it feels like when I go to work. So if you have a free day in New Orleans, nothing on your calendar, you could do, go or do anything, um, no responsibilities, what would you do? You know what I like to do? I used to like to come down here, Jackson, Jackson Square, Square. And, and get some coffee and... Uh, a couple of beignets and sit and read the paper. Just relax. Uh, yeah, and, and I dig uh, walking through the quarter. It's, yeah. I, I see something new every every time I go through there. Uh, it's just that sense of history that's steeped in. Yeah, the architecture, uh -huh. the people. Like, mm -hmm. I mean, the people here are some of the kindest in the world. Yeah, they yeah. are. Do you nice. feel that as a local too? Absolutely. Uh, yes, sir. No, ma'am. Oh. Mm -hmm. It's just. A great vibe. And we're saying that here people don't just say, hey, can I have your picture? They, they talk to you. Hey, how you doing? I met you here. I yeah. saw you, John. You know. Well, the, the locals don't care yeah. about me. <laughs> Do you all care about John Goodman? No, it's, oh. it's no big deal. John Goodman's a big deal. Yes, Sorry. a huge deal.